Hello YouTubers, 98 Mercedes-Benz E430 and we are replacing power steering rack and pinion. So we already pumped out power steering fluid out of the system. And you can find it in the video how to replace the power steering fluid on this machine. So next we will uh, undo the tie rods. We will start with the driver side. So we have a 22 mil nut on the tie rod. Also, since we are using tie rods, I would strongly recommend to count the threads on your racking pinion part and also get this knot loose while everything is in place and for the knot and to hold the rod it's 13 16 so we will get this loose count threads and get this knot off and the tie rod dropped all right so we i counted eight threads this is loose i got this knot out and it's lock knot so i Turn it upside down so I can hammer it. Uh, now you have two options, either hammer really bad on this part and it should drop, or you can help with the hammer from the top by using the nut, putting it uh, upside down so you don't damage that lock part. All right, so this part is done. I will do absolutely the same on the other side, so I won't film it, just not to take your time. I wasn't going to film this side, but I just want to show you how bad the leak is. I just turned the steering wheel all the way to the left and it just pouring out of this side. Okay, so next we will remove both tie rods. You can get it off on the bench too, but so it just the racking pinion weights less. I will remove it. At this stage all right so we are under the vehicle right now and so here's the driver side passenger side still dripping so first thing that we want to do is probably to disconnect this uh, electrical connector and before you do anything I'm not 100% sure if it's required Make sure that you have your steering wheel um, straight. It has, at least this car has three turns from the left to the right, so one and a half turn from the end, either left or right. So there is a electrical connector over there. So you need to squeeze those two metal clips and pull it out. Next thing, what you should do Disconnect it from the linkage on the um, steering wheel, so that will be 13 mil bolt and nut. And next, just behind that connector, I'll try to stick my camera there. So there is a two lines supply and return so you will need to disconnect those two lines and the last thing to get this rack down two bolts and nuts on top so 13 here then I believe it's 19 and 22 uh, for the return and supply line, and then 16 mil over here. We'll start with the connector. Okay, so the connector is out, and as I said, you just squeeze those two clips and pull it out. Then we will grab 13 mil socket and wrench, and we'll remove it from the linkage. All right, so the 13 mil bolt is removed. Excuse me. And 
one thing to get it out, you will actually need to turn your steering wheel one direction because it won't come off. So next, we will rem uh, actually. So when we remove the power steering lines, it will start dripping fluid. So we don't want to be laying under here. So we will remove this 16 mil bolt first. Then we will remove the lines, and then we will go to the other bolt on the other side. And I will use impact and wrench on top to get this bolt out. So to hold that nut on top, there is not much room over there. So I ended up feeding that wrench from that side. Try to stick my camera in. Anyway, so it goes just along the steering rack from the driver's side and in such way you can hold that nut. So this nut is removed. We'll still leave the bolt here so we keep the rack in place for the line removal. Before you go ahead and remove those lines over there, take a small wire brush and brush all the dust, all the crap out of those lines. So when you put them together, they are nice and clean. After you brush it, brake clean them, uh, spray them with the brake clean. So you are confident there is no dust, mud, grease, because you want those lines to be tight at the end of the day. So we will take a small wire brush, if you don't have a small wire brush, toothbrush, uh, brush it, spray it with brake, brake clean, and then remove those two, two bolts. So everything is nice and clean. We brake, uh, spray it with a brake clean. Wire brushed it, then uh, clean it with compressed air. So now we will remove the line that is closer to us. It's 19 mil, and I'm just using a half inch ratchet and a shallow socket. And remember, even though we have extracted majority of the fluid, there will be still a few drops coming out of that line. So have a catch pen. So actually not much fluid is coming out, there's a few droplets. Just make sure that you don't lose this copper washer in this bolt. And there should be another one on the other side of that line connector. So if you pull the line off, okay, so you see there is no washer, so it's either stuck, and it is stuck. I think it just went down. Okay, we will make sure that we find that washer. We take this line out of the way, and we will reach to that 22 mil, the bigger one. So for the other bolt, you have to use the shorty 22 mil wrench because the half inch ratchet is way too long so it hits the sway bar. Unless you lower down, unless you lower down the like, pinion and then undo the lines, that would work too. But such short wrench works really well here. Same story with the other bolt, make sure that you catch the uh, copper washers and again because we have sucked out most of the fluid, there is not much drips, just a couple of droplets. The next thing what I would like to do, just to avoid any complication, so there is that shield. Uh, to get it loose you need to unbend this piece and just spread it out. And then I will use either like a screw driver, just punch in that hole just to spread the, those splices a bit. So when we drop the rack, this will disconnect. 
Oh, actually, never mind. It is quite loose. So, you see, like it's already is disconnected. Hmm. That was easy. Usually they are stuck quite well. So now we can remove. Actually, those bolts are already removed. So while I was wiggling, it's on top. They just fall off. So those bolts are removed. Two lines are disconnected. Electrical connector is disconnected. The steering linkage is disconnected. So now we. Uh, we might need we might need to remove this bracket actually it's probably the same 16 mil so when this bracket is removed it will come off already so the bracket pinning is out and we got the replacement part it's remanufactured so as you can see it has a Mercedes tag on it so a few things that I've noticed out of the box uh, a few splices are slightly damaged over here so I hope it won't create too much issue another thing this uh, electrical uh, connector is 180 degree off so it feels like we will need to remove this one also what I've noticed that if we look at this connector there is no um, that tongue where our connector clips on so this was uh, grinded whatever and another thing that I hated about this is that they, they just spray painted the electrical connector inside so to stay on a safe, safe site we will just take the old one out uh, so this rack and pinion was I think like 1200 bucks delivered uh, it came with the instruction with uh, two o-rings and two quarter pins so what the instruction says basically um, whenever you connect this make sure that your steering wheel is in the center position because this rack and pinion comes centered from the factory so I, I think I mentioned it before but make sure that you lock it in place uh, straight when you connect it um, another thing they said to replace the o-rings on the pressure lines and return line we don't have o-rings we have those um, copper washers so we may, we'll make sure that those bolts washers the hoses ends are nice and clean before we get it installed and uh, yeah, and also obviously we'll need wheel alignment after this. So next, it seems like this new unit did not come with this plastic cover. So I'll try to remove it and transfer it there. And we'll transfer this uh, electrical part. Okay, so to remove this part, I'm just using like small uh, clip removal tool and this small pry bar just come in, in here so I'm quite disappointed that this does not come come with this piece since this actually centers the uh, steering linkage so I remember when I removed it and when the steering wheel was straight this was basically pointing to this edge over here so I will I will install it the same on, on that one so we get our steering wheel more or less straight. Okay, so I got this out, piece broke off. So what I figured, use a heat gun. When this is nice as hot, you can remove it with your fingers. So don't force it too much with the pry bars. Just use your, uh, use the source of heat. Uh, so let it expand and then just pull it off. All right, so to remove this electrical part, <laughs> as weird as it sounds, there are two different type of bolts. So they are diagonally two and a half mil uh, six point Allen key and 
T20 Torx. The other one seems like it's all T20. So don't strip this too because it's 2.5 Allen. So I was able to get three out of four that 2.5 Allen stripped inside. Uh, on the other hand, the, that one was easy to remove, so it just kind of solenoid well, mostly on and off. So one thing we can do, just turn this around and put it back. But I would still like to get a nice connector out of this one, so I will drill this out. Okay, so I got that solenoid out. I will have to remove this bolt. Anyway, uh, one thing to note, there is a small tiny screen that sits in that hole. So I checked the other one and there is already the screen, so we will just replace the solenoid. Another thing to mention, when you remove uh, all those bolts, like this top cover, wants to come off so make sure that you keep it close so no dirt gets inside so now we should be good to install this solenoid to the new rack all right so while my phone was charging i have put back the tie rods on both sides with keeping in mind how many threads we should leave according to the uh, old setup we have i have cleaned all the bolts and also apply the Loctite to all of them because it seems like they used to have it. I also have cleaned those so they're nice and clean. Also I have replaced this shield, this plastic piece. Uh, so while I was putting it on, first thing get it really really hot and then I was pushing it on um, this outside part and it started to break so I glued it back but just use a punch and go around like this uh, to get it all the way in okay quick look under the vehicle so we have this bracket I removed just one side so when I put the rack back in I can just slide it back so it will sit on this bracket so this bolt is still in place all those two uh, hoses I have cleaned, re cleaned, cleaned it with the rack so there's no dust or dirt on it. And at this point, we should be good to put this back together. And as it was mentioned before, you want to make sure that your steering wheel, wheel is uh, pointed straight. It's actually locked in this place, so we will leave it and uh, then wheel alignment can adjust the rest and just when I was ready to put it back I have removed those caps from those two orifices and I don't know if you can see but they spray painted this surface where the seal ring the copper ring supposed to seal so it has a lip made of spray paint so when you put put it and make it tight it will most probably leak to be quite honest I'm not surprised that they put paint over here because the electrical connector was full of spray paint but this is just ridiculous uh, so take I already cleaned this one so just take a razor blade and scrape off any paint that is inside I have put the paper towel in so nothing gets in and then I will just get it out when it's clean. But yeah, please make sure that you clean off any paint. And uh, did I tell you how much I hate the spray paint on the remanufacturing parts? Uh, if not, I hate it. Doesn't matter if it's rack and pinion or it's alternator, I just hate it. So guys, if somebody is watching who does the rebuild, do not paint. Leave it as it is. Reckon pinion is in place. I got those bolts started. So next 
I have lined up the steering wheel linkage and it does not want to go on easily and my guess is that those few damaged lines probably resisting so before I start putting too much effort on this I want to hook up those lines because anytime you wiggle something dust comes down so I don't want to get anything in there so I will get those bolts and lines installed and then we'll try to wiggle in this this linkage and also I had to remove that aluminum shield that like bell housing uh, around this linkage so I can grab it from the top so I got the rack and pinion tight I got the hoses connected yes we can plug the electrical connector so we don't forget about that guy so this linkage giving me a bit of trouble it doesn't want to go in easily and I can assume that's because of those damaged splines so what I'm doing I don't know if you can see but I have a pipe on top and I'm just gently hammering it down and it seems like it's working so here's that pipe and it sits just on top of that U joint over there and if I tap from the top it moves down where it's supposed to be so as uh, in one movie they said that nothing good happens after 2 I usually say nothing good happens in the shop after 11 and it's getting late and I start forgetting stuff so I forgot to put this shield on and this has to go on before you put the 13 mil bolt um, I believe this shield is quite important since you can see that it's exhaust so if you don't have the shield on most likely that your U-joint will go bad quite soon so please don't forget to put it on and it has to go on before you put the 13 mil because that's what holds it in place other than that I don't think there is much else to do than put your tie rods in get the, them tight lock your uh, adjusting nut on both sides put your wheels back on fill up the fluid bleed the fluid to bleed the fluid um, fill it up all the way start spinning wheels when vehicle is off uh, when the level stops going down then start the engine let it pump the fluid through and then um, turn your wheels to the left and to the right don't lock them all the way to the left and to the right just do a few turns left right left right and that should be it thanks for watching please like and subscribe and as always do it yourself take care